but this is the new aircraft, the Jodel Musketeer. I didn't set out to buy a huge wooden home-built aircraft powered by a six-litre prehistoric engine, but this one's a bit special. Sierra Tango is the final E-model Musketeer, which entered production in 1964. She's a magnificent example, taking Yorkshireman Allen Ship 11 years to construct. She first flew in 2009 and won the prize for best plans built aircraft at the LAA Rally in 2010. That year also saw the aircraft collect top honours on home soil in France, just as Allen's two seat Mascari had done in 96. The French Air Force used the Musketeer for casualty evacuation during their Algerian campaign. This bulkhead would be removed and a special stretcher fitted. The nurse would then sit here behind the pilot and tend to their patient. You can get 60 kilos of luggage in there and 90 kilos of luggage in there. Look at that, it's huge. Imagine building this, not from a kit, but from plans, manufacturing everything yourself. Absolutely incredible. When taxiing, the view over the nose is excellent, so there's no need to weave about. Sierra Tango's lining up for a race. I raise the tail as soon as I can, and she flies off at 50. Today we're light, we've got half tanks and no passengers. I estimate our takeoff roll was less than 250 metres. Useful load is 500 kilos, so she could carry another 320, which would obviously increase our takeoff distance. It's a cold day and we're light. Performance is excellent. Today we're climbing at over a thousand feet a minute at 80 knots. Like most Jodels, she has the distinctive magic cranked wing. In the cruise, most of the lift is provided by the massive inboard section. The tapering outboard section is at a reduced angle of attack which produces less drag, prevents the wingtips from stalling first, and helps the ailerons retain effectiveness near the stall, all of which contributes to good manners at the bottom end of the speed envelope. The nose sits low in level flight, which coupled with the huge canopy gives outstanding visibility. Whilst the controls feel substantial, they're effective and well harmonized. She's a joy to fly. Today, at 2,000 feet, 75% power is giving 118 knots. At a more economical 65%, we're getting 108 knots for a fuel burn of 33 litres an hour. Not exactly a rocket ship, but good enough to get us from here in Hampshire to Champagne in northwest France in two and a half hours. We could then use the useful load to fill up with a lot of booze and return without refuelling. Overhead. Thanks to the magic wing, when it's time to land you can fly the approach at 60 knots. Visibility is once again fantastic, no side slipping or curved approaches needed here. Jodel takes its name from founders Jolie and his son-in-law Delamontes. In 2010, when the aircraft was over in France collecting silverware, she was inspected by Monsieur Delamontes, then in his 90s. He obviously liked what he saw and showed his approval by signing the rudder, an event Alan likened to God signing your Bible. 